Welcome everybody. Y'all know who this is. Your boy, Don from Images by Lyrics. And today, I want y'all to check me out on building my new PC. Right after this. All right, guys, let's get right on into it. As you can see, everything right here are the things that I decided to go with on my first build. Hopefully I made the right choice. I picked up the Corsair DDR4 running at 32 megahertz. I got 32 gigs. That's two sticks of 16s, okay? I went with the Samsung SSD drive the 970 EVO Plus, that's 500 gigs. I went with the Radeon chip. This is version seven. And it also comes with a fan. The Republic of Gamers uh, motherboard. This one right here is the B450. I'm not doing any gaming. Everything that I'm going to do is going to be video production and uh, uh, photo editing. Also went with the graphics card from the same company. This is the Radeon RX 580. And to make all this work, I went with the EVGA 650. This is the bronze version. So I think this will give me enough power to run everything with no problems. And this beast right here is the case that I'm going to put all that goodness into. I decided to go with the all black case uh, with the tempered glass. It has three fans, two in the front, one in the back. Um, that's going to work perfectly with the fan that comes with the chip. A lot of airflow that's going to go through this bad boy here. I'm excited and I'm ready to do it. This is a thermal tech um, tower. This is a mid tower, a thermal tech mid tower. For the most part, a mid tower can pack everything you're trying to put into it, unless you making some off the wall type build. So let's go on, let's go ahead and do it. And now that we got this bad boy out of the box, I'm gonna bring y'all in for a close up because you can already see straight through exactly what I wanted. My RGB lights will shine bright exactly how I want them to. Right here, you can see we have USB slots 3.0 2.0 right here we have the headphone jack mic jack dedicated RGB switch and a power on and off motherboard slot cooling fan multiple ports for graphics cards and at the very bottom power supply and guys, don't forget, if you're doing your first build, always use the manual. For this, I'm gonna use a multi-purpose screwdriver. Once you untighten them, you can take them off by hand. Once you got the screws out, this part just slides right off. This slot right here is your hard drive slots. You wanna go ahead and take those out real quick because you got some extra pieces that you need to use. Your bag of goodies you will need, so please do not discard. All right, let's start with the motherboard. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, first what I'm gonna do is install the SSD. All right. That goes here. Now, hopefully this is the smallest screw I gotta deal with. Okay, hopefully. 
All right. Now I'm going to install the Ryzen 7. All right, let's do it. Be careful not to touch the back ends with a pin that I'm quite sure you'll damage the deal. Um, and also there's these little arrows right on the end. You can see, I don't know if it's right there. Mash that up with the piece that's on the motherboard and you're good to go. Raise up the little pin, match it. It fell right in. And then you put down a lever. It's lock. Should be good to go. All right. All right, guys. So this part right here, I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, I read the manual since um, I'm adding a fan on these clips clip on to the edges of these parts here, right? So the cable goes to this side right over here, right on this side. So as soon as I put it down, the thermal paste is going to touch it. There we go. All right, I got it, and as you can see, I plugged the fan in, so this part is ready to go. I was a little skeptical about this side over here, but everything is good, good to go. Now it's time to install the RAM, and my motherboard is telling me to install it in A2 and B2 slot. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this. All right, so it's telling me to install it like this. It's one. I'm so nervous. it is all right so now it's time to put it inside of the box i'm gonna go ahead and turn over the deal slide off the back panel gently now i am gently placing the motherboard inside of the case I'm trying to be ex Extremely careful as I can. That's what happens when you're nervous. Okay, guys. After 10 minutes looking through all these screws, I finally found the ones that actually go in the motherboard. Ooh, let's do it. <laughs> I had to hold my light and do the rest of these screws. Sorry the video taking so long. Bear with me, it's my first time. I don't wanna mess up. I'm quite sure this is gonna reflect down in the comments below. Took none of these little bitty screws. If you got big hands like me, oh man. All right, we're done with that. All right, we're gonna turn it upright. Ugh. Everything's still in place. Put it about right there. And what we're gonna do right now, I'm going to start putting in a power supply. All right, so y'all gonna hear my squeaky chair, guys. Uh, oh, let me get this right. I had to read the manual. Because when you're not used to doing something, you need a little help. Uh, 
Y'all don't wanna see me do this right here, so I'm gonna show y'all when I start putting it in. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Make sure the fan is down. That should be good. Put it in. Okay, so there's four screws that goes right in the back of here. I already put one, that's how I found out. Okay. All right, now I'm not gonna lie. These right here, these are a fool. I'm trying to figure out what these go to because they, the right ends are so small. Just wanna let y'all know. All right, last but not least, the graphics card. All right. All right, so I had to move the back bracket to put the video card in. But now I have the video card in. I'm gonna put the bracket back on. Screw it together. All right, so now there's only one thing left to do is clean up this rat's nest and I'll let you know if it turns on. Looks like I'm done. Um, we're about to do the moment of truth and uh, plug it up, press the power button, see if it comes on. All right, here we go. Uh oh, we got something. It's working, it's working, it's working. I mean, so far to me, it looks okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap up what I done done with this PC build. This was my first time, y'all take it easy on me in the comments. And uh, man, it was a job, believe me, it was a job. Hopefully I can uh, install the rest of the programs um, with no problem. If I have problems, again, I'll ask one of my friends to come over, who's a professional in that, and he'll help me out. Uh, but other than that, Thank y'all for watching. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe so I can keep making more content.